guys welcome back to my youtube channel how are you all doing i hope you're doing great please if this is the first time coming to my channel you're highly welcome kindly do me a favor by pressing the red icon below to subscribe to my channel so every time i upload a new video you're going to get notified and please turn on your post notification so you're going to get notified every time i upload a new video and if you've been watching my video so far thank you so much i'm really really grateful on today's video i'm going to be telling you reasons why you shouldn't work as a house help in Bahrain. okay relax i know we come here to hustle and of course we look for all the best and the most legit way to look for money doing house help work is not a bad idea but i want to tell you some reasons why you shouldn't do house help job now if you're kind of person who like wearing skinny clothes you know like exposing your body don't go for house help because firstly majority of the house help especially the ones that are from africa or asia or let's say the one which have been brought for you by your boss they turn out to give you a dress okay a uniform you're going to be wearing for your time being in the house now don't think you're going to be well if you are coming let's say from cameroon and you're coming to do house help let's say you had direct employment to come and work for somebody and you come to work at a house help my dear just keep all your beautiful clothes back home or just give it to your family members your friends your your brothers your sisters just give them back home because when you come here you're going to have a uniform that you'll be wearing and in most cases like 80 percent of the cases like 80 percent of people have seen or the ladies have seen my god the dresses they wear it's 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 so big it's like a, it's a kind of dress that if your wind wants to blow it will blow and carry you along so if you know you are this kind of person who likes wearing skinny clothes tight clothes don't go for house you can go for any other job because you're going to have enough time to go out and have your leisure and stuff but if you're this kind of a person don't go for house help now I, like i said before in my introduction i'm not saying doing house help job is bad but these are some reasons you shouldn't go for house help if you're this kind of a person number two if you're this kind of a person who is not hard working and like to lazy around don't go for house help because house help job requires a lot of energy and requires a lot of your time some people who don't know their rights are going to work over over like you're going to be working throughout the day i had one of my friends before in dubai she worked as a house help in Oman. so what she told me was she was working there as, an, as a house help she worked like she was not having time to sleep they would just wake her up please come and clean this please come and do this normally according to the labor law everybody is abide to work for eight hours but she was working more than eight hours and at the end of the day she's still getting the same salary no overtime nothing she's getting the same salary and of course she didn't know anybody there so she could not complain she was just walking so if you know you don't have strength eh to be cutting your sleep and to be doing choices don't go for house help just look for something else legit maybe work in a restaurant work in a cafe and do now the next thing i'm going to be telling you is if you know you are not patient enough or if you know you're not the kind of a person who can deal with kids, don't go for house help. Of course, most of the people who go for house help jobs are the ladies. And majority of the ladies are the people who have kids or would want to have kids. So yes, they are going to have compassion for children and of course know how to take care of children. But even the kind of a person who don't like kids, don't go for house help job. Because you might go to a house where let's say you have just... Um, the mother and the father and you have a lot of kids you have to take care of you have to be patient with them because there are some times where you're going to clean everywhere make everywhere tidy you wash their clothes iron it make everywhere i mean clean but at the end of the day or before the before before half of the day you find out that these kids have thrown things dirty things and don't even dare it to ever raise your hand as an arabic child my god they'll repatriate you back to your country they'll send you back to your country because only their parents are allowed to do that so do their correction unless the mother gives you the permission but of course i don't think there is any parent who will give the permission for you to discipline the child or flog the child because he or she can do this so if you're this kind of person who is not really friendly with kids and you don't have the patience to redo things don't go for house help 
Now, let's move to the next. If you're going for a house help job and you're thinking that you're going to have this leisure or let's say you're doing a stay-in job, um, majority of them, I'm not saying all, but some of them are not going to allow you go out on a regular. You, you're going to have one day off and sometimes you're not going to have day off because let's say for the period of Ramadan, you have a lot of guests to take care of, families are coming left and right, you have to clean dishes, you have to assist in cooking and stuff. So if you're this kind of a person who likes going out, house help job is not for you. Look for something else and do. Now let's move to the next thing. Why you shouldn't go for house help job. Another reason why you shouldn't go for a house help job is if you know that you are not you're the kind of a person who uh who likes doing the hair, who likes showing off your hair, don't go out for this. Because like I said, not all, but majority of them that give you a direct employment from your country to um, Bahrain, you turn out to cover your hair. Now, I'm not talking about only Bahrain. I have a friend who is working in Dubai. She's actually doing house hip. She's doing stay in. She's a Christian, but automatically she has become a Muslim. Because, yes, they are going to teach you their cultures and their tradition. So you automatically have to live like them. She got there. She started living. She she went there with her clothes. And she was thinking, oh, I'm going to wear my clothes. Because in Africa, if you're doing a house help job in somebody's house, see, they don't have a problem. They are going to, like us Africans. Okay, for example, I have my aunt, right? When she goes back to Cameroon, she looks for a, a house help, a person who works for her. And the person does stay in, like the person will stay with her in the house. She's going to buy the person dresses and clothes and, you know, you look very suitable for your job, very sexy. You're not going to be wearing some, you know, kind of big clothes. But when this my friend came to Dubai, the first day she was wearing her dress, she, was, she thought, okay, this is how it's going to be. I'm going to be wearing my normal clothes and nothing is going to happen. The went and took her measurements and uh, truly i don't know the essence of this measurement because you really measured something for somebody and at the end of the day that person is wearing we call it aguada uh, 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 uh nigerians call it aguada you put it like this you put it like this there was there's there was the essence there was no essence for you taking the measurement because at the end of the day this person is still wearing a very big dress and at the end of the day they start covering their hair so you if you're not ready to do this don't go in for house help job look for something else like i said before house help job is not a bad job but if you know you cannot compile to these things i've told you do not go in for house help job okay another thing is um uh, you shouldn't go for a house help job if you are not psychologically and mentally fixed in your brain like you have not accepted the fact that okay i'm going to be doing each and everything this person asks me to do for example um for me i'm cameroonian so i actually like eating my cameroonian meals when i get my salary i go out and get my things i like eating only african things not like um the baronese food are not good of course they are good but mm, i'm already so versatile and i like my cameroon food so i like always i like buying my cameroon food and eating but now when you go into the house some people might not like the smell of your Cameroon food. Now you might cook and they're like, no, don't blame them. They are not used to this smell. They will not like it. So they might stop you from cooking this Cameroon food and you have to get used to their own meal. You see that at the end of the day, you'll be able to cook all their um, kapsa, their kebab. You'll be, you will have to learn how to cook it because in the long run, this is what you'll be eating. In the long run, you will have to cook this because maybe sometime your boss will not be around to teach you. So, of course, you have to do this. Another thing is, if you're kind of a person who is not willing to learn new things, new cultures, new methods of cooking, new way of dressing, new way of talking to people, new languages, don't go. Because whether you like it or not, once you stay with an Arabic person, one or two times they are going to be speaking to you the Arabic language. And at the end of the day, you are, you, you are urged to learn it so you can speak it to their kids and you can be able to know this. So if you're kind of person who don't like to learn new things, mm, house help job is not for you. Don't go in for house help job. Probably look for something much more better than this house help job. So I have told you all the reasons why you shouldn't go for a house help job. 
if you know you're not ready to accept all these things my dear go and look for something else maybe in a restaurant in a cafe whatever or you do leave out not stay in because they stay in and leave out some people would accept you to stay in their house and others will tell you okay you can go and come back tomorrow but if you cannot do this in a stay in don't go in for a house help job so i hope i educated you on this and please don't get it twisted house help jobs are good but if you cannot do these things that i have listed do not go in for this house help job if you've been watching my video so far from the beginning to end thank you so much i really do appreciate your effort please if you have been watching this video without subscribing kindly press the red icon below to subscribe to this channel and please tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to subscribe to nessa's fantasy so you're going to be getting more and more information about everything on traveling and in Bahrain. i'll be seeing you guys again in my next video bye bye